Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another episode of Judging the Album by the Cover. So today, we're going to rank the studio albums of Van Halen completely by the album cover. What you don't see off camera here is I have all 12 Van Halen albums laid out in front of me, and uh, I'm sort of going into this with the mindset that someone recommended that I go pick up a Van Halen album. They're this awesome band. And I know nothing about the music, so I walk into the record store, they have all 12 studio albums, and I just have the cover to go on. So which one will catch my eye, which one would I probably wind up going with, which one do I think has the coolest cover? So, um, again, this is completely my opinion, this is completely how I see these albums. If you disagree, let me know how you would rank the Van Halen album covers in the comments below. So let's get into this, and uh, looking at these album covers right here, I'd have to say that the one I am the least drawn to is For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. It's very plain. There's nothing wrong necessarily with simplicity, but there's just not really anything that, that grabs my attention here. It kind of has the Van Halen logo, which kind of almost looks like it's on a football or something. Uh, but, uh, that's about it. I mean, there's really nothing there that, that captures the eye. Everything else kind of has something that grabs my eye, but this is the one that just I kind of kept looking over. So I'm going to say for lawful carnal knowledge is going to come in at number 12. All right, so the next one, I would say I'm not really a big fan of this album cover right here. Uh, Certainly there's a little bit more to look at with the guy standing in front of a cannon that has uh, Van Halen 3 printed on it. Um, and then you got the back cover like he's kind of blown out of the way or whatever. I don't think that's a particularly like good picture. It's really pixelated. It's kind of, kind of boring coloring in my opinion. Um, chances are I would not be picking this one out of the lineup. So I'm going to put Van Halen 3 at number 11. All right, number 10, um, see all the rest of these are kind of cool looking. This is where it's going to get, this is where it's going to get difficult. So number 10, I'm going to say, is Diver Down, um, pretty simple. You got the Diver Down flag. I, I kind of like this more. It's a little brighter than for unlawful carnal knowledge. And I kind of like it more for some reason, but uh, I'm looking at all these other album covers, and they're all they're all jumping out at me. This one, uh, I got to give it props though, because for some something about this album cover made me really interested in Diver Down when I was a young Van Halen fan, and I didn't really know much about this album. I saw the album cover, you know, uh, with all the other Roth album covers, and something about it made me want to get this album. So I don't know, but uh, the way I'm feeling right now. Diver Down is going to be number 10. Number 9, I'm going to say Van Halen 2. Again, very simple cover. Nice blue, back, blue background. And blue is my favorite color, so I can totally get into this. Um, just got the logo. And on the back, you got a pretty cool shot of the group. But uh, I'm primarily judging on the cover. Um... Nothing wrong with it. I mean, I kind of, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig its simplicity, but uh, I think these other ones here are jumping out at me a little bit more. All right, so number eight, I'm gonna go OU812 again. Pretty simple shot of the band. Uh, just have their faces. I, I like, uh, I like band photos for album covers, generally. Um, that's a pretty simple one, pretty nice. Have the, the lighting coming in on one side and the other side of their face is pretty dark. Um, cool shot, but uh, you just got some other really attention-grabbing album covers that are going to come in ahead of it. So OU812 is my number 8. So, um, hmm, number 7. The debut. And this is a cool album cover. I mean, you got the Van Halen logo right dead center there, and then you have each member kind of has a quarter of the of the uh, cover to sort of shine. Eddie Van Halen there with his guitar in the forefront. Uh, 
pretty cool. You got the like the red uh, aura kind of covering up Alex's face there, but uh, cool nonetheless. Michael Anthony playing his bass. That's a cool shot. Can't deny that. Too bad it's only going to come in at number seven, but uh, it's still a pretty cool album cover. <clears throat> Let's see, number six. Different kind of truth. Kind of got the gun pointed out the peephole there. Um, Got like some smoke outside there. Nice red, uh, red, black sort of border around it. Kind of cool. Um, you know, nothing, uh, nothing that jumps out at me as much as some of these other ones, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool album cover. All right, so number five into the top five now. My number five is going to be 5150. I think having the guy there holding up that ginormous ball with the Van Halen logo around it, almost like he's on, almost kind of looks like he's on display there or something, showing off his strength. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that's a pretty cool album cover. And the, the uh, kind of chain around his neck that says 5150. I like that. So, pretty cool album cover right there. 5150, my number five. My number five. So my number four. Hmm. I'm going to go with Fair Warning. A very busy album cover. Um, got a lot going on here. Looks like a guy in the top right is getting the snot beat out of him while some people down here are looking on. This guy right here is like banging his head into a brick wall. Um, very interesting painting. This is, this is like something that you would totally walk into a museum and just stare at it for an hour but uh it's very busy a lot a lot to unpack here and a, a lot to look at um or i think the other three just are a little bit a little bit more pleasing to the eye at least at a quick glance but you could you could sit and unpack this album cover for a long time fair warning is going to be my number four number three i'm 1984 um, certainly having angel, a baby angel smoking a pack of cigarettes, that's not, uh, not something you see every day. Certainly catches the eye, certainly, uh, something that you look at and sort of think, wow, that's, uh, that's, that's not usual. So that's pretty cool. I like the light colors, the light, uh, background of it. It all kind of works. So 1984 is going to be my number three. All right, my number two. I have balance. So you have the uh, conjoined twins on a seesaw, but what I really like about this album cover is the the background. That's almost like it's on another almost like it's on some sort of alien planet by the looks like it by the looks of it with a maybe a bit of a sunset going on in the background or a dark sunset in the background. Almost looks maybe wastelandish. But there's something about that just that setting and that that uh atmosphere where the seesaw is that I kinda like. Um Conjoin twins or not, that's that's kind of what I'm digging about this album cover here. I've always sort of enjoyed the background and the the feel of the uh, where, wherever that seesaw happens to be. So Balance, I think, is a pretty cool album cover at number two. But my favorite Van Halen album cover is probably going to be Women and Children First. I think there's a nice simplicity, a nice classiness to this album cover. You got the Van Halen name up top. You got a shot of the band right in the middle. Eddie kind of looks like he's really shredding his guitar right there. Um, the rest, you know, the rest of the band, Michael Anthony's sort of like, sort of leaning back, almost like he's got his bass playing, uh, then you got Alex and Dave doing their thing, that's a pretty sweet shot of the band right there, I think, inside of this nice, classy green, and, uh, like, almost, I don't know what color that would be, like, grayish or whatever, sort of border, so I think that's a pretty sweet, classy album cover, nice shot of the band, I think it's got everything, everything I like about an album cover in it. I must ask my favorite Van Halen album cover. So uh, let me know in the comments below how you would rank the Van Halen album covers. Um, if you enjoy this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more rock videos in the future. And I'll see you then.